probably the, the, the biggest cause of suffering in the, in the folks that I work with is tying their sense of happiness or their joy or their contentment or their sense of peace to external conditions. That when conditions are a certain way, then I can be happy or that I, then I can believe I am loved or that I'm enough or that I belong. Or all the different states of being that we are often seeking, seeking them in the external world from the conditions of our lives, that's usually the biggest cause of suffering. Because we might actually be able to create a life and move the furniture around in life enough and, and create the conditions that seem to bring or, or make a sense of peace and contentment easier. But everything in the world, everything is impermanent. It's always changing. So we're attaching our sense of peace to something that's going to change. And, that, and that's where we get into trouble. So rather than having the, the focus be external and looking how I can create a, a, a life or a set of conditions that will allow me to feel safe, loved, enough, belong, to know that the only place I can ever find that is within, is to connect to the, the infinite state of self, to the always abundant, always precious, always loved, always enough state of being that's within. Then we can carry that into any conditions, any circumstance, and no matter what the conditions or circumstance of life. You know, we may experience it as uh, upsetting, we may experience it as uh, uh, what we don't desire, but we can have that experience from a known place of enoughness, from a known place of I am precious, I am whole, I am love. I am this infinite being who's currently experiencing a sense of lack. But I don't believe that lack actually exists in the universe. I just am experiencing it right now. So that's the biggest cause of suffering, is attaching our sense of, of internal joy to external conditions that are always changing and are impermanent. That's kind of insane, actually. <laughs>